In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Join Apostle John Udo today as he teaches the Word that was with God and is now with us for our transformation. Apostle John Udo, worth hearing. <laughs> Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Please have your seat in the presence of God. I'll quickly give this uh, word of uh, revelation to somebody, and then uh, we'll proceed into the prayers that the Holy Spirit is guiding us to pray tonight. It's been an amazing time in the presence of God um, since on... Uh, Wednesday, today is the day five. We've had amazing, amazing prayer times with amazing uh, impartations and testimonies following. By the grace of God, we'll take it further today as the Spirit will lead us. Now, the Lord would want me to tell somebody here, uh, I, I'm seeing somebody coming under a strong anointing that will allow for you to begin to have special angelic encounters. Uh, I'm seeing in the spirit realm that this person that God is referring to is going to begin to encounter angels, whether in dreams or in visions or revelations, whatever dimensions it is. But I'm seeing an intensification of the ministry of angels in the life of that person. And that begins from right now as I speak. Even in the midst of the prayer today, you will begin to see angels. You will begin to encounter angels more than you've ever been seen before. If you've ever been seeing them, this is an intensification of the ministry of angels in your life and lord i pray for everyone under the sound of my voice uh, that you grant the privilege that every of your sons and daughters might begin to have this experience of the intensification of the ministry of angels in the name of the lord jesus I pray that the curtain be opened, the veil be opened uh, to allow for people to begin to have visions of angels, uh, dream encounters, trances of angels. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord, for encounters with your ministering spirit uh, that is going to transform our lives from grace to grace, from glory to glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you because it is so done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Yesterday we visited amazing strange places and we recovered our blessings in the place of prayer. If you were if you've not watched yesterday's prayers or you were not in the service, I'd like you to go to the YouTube page or the Telegram page of the ministry and look it up. It was an explosive time in the presence of God. And today we will be praying for the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God. I need you to understand very importantly that nothing will exist in this world without the wisdom of God. Nothing will exist in this world without the wisdom of God. The Bible tells us in the book of Psalms chapter 136 from verse 5. It says, To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. So the very existence of the earth is by the wisdom of God. Everything God created was created by the wisdom of God. And that simply means everything created can only survive by the wisdom of God. Praise the name of the Lord. 
if god the almighty god needed wisdom to create the world then you and i need the same wisdom of god to accomplish whatever we need to accomplish in this world and i'm going to be taking us through different areas and dimensions of wisdom that we need to pray for in order for us to fully maximize the year and even beyond the year we are in presently praise the name of the lord the Bible says something about the fool. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 24 verse 7 that wisdom is too high for a fool. He openeth not his mouth in the gate. So for a fool, wisdom is too high. He cannot assess it. But for the man whose heart is wise, he is as high as the wisdom can take him. I pray for somebody here today that wisdom will not be too high for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now the first thing we are going to pray about is to pray for wisdom for daily living. Wisdom for daily living. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 10 that if the iron be blunt and he do not wet the edge then must he put more strength but wisdom is profitable to direct wisdom is profitable to direct in life we need direction we need to take the right decisions to go in the right direction per time and the bible says one thing that is profitable to direct is what is the wisdom of god so the first prayer you will be praying this evening is oh lord grant me the wisdom that gives direction i want you to say after me in the name of jesus Say, in the name of Jesus, I receive from the Lord wisdom for direction in life. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh Lord, my God, I receive wisdom for direction in life so that I can go in the right direction per time. Open your mouth and begin to call upon God for wisdom. Jesus name we pray to direct means to show the way to go i don't know how many of you have experienced it before when you ask the wrong person for direction and then he tells you go like this and then you turn like this and then you go like this and when you get to the end and ask somebody else the person tells you go back to where you started from wrong direction but when wisdom is involved wisdom will give you the right direction so that you can go to the right place and be at the right place at the right time i want you to say in the name of jesus name of jesus i receive such wisdom i receive such wisdom to know the right direction to go 
Pattern in every area of my life. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 In thine ears shall hear a word behind thee Saying, this is the way Walk ye in it When ye turn to the right hand And when ye turn to the left Hallelujah Who does not like this kind of voice This is the voice of wisdom in this year and beyond this year, you will be hearing the voice of wisdom. I will tell you this is the way. Go to the right, go to the left. You will hear the voice of wisdom. Tell you this is what to do by time. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive the voice. Of wisdom, I hear the voice of wisdom in my ear. To know the way to go, to know the decision to take. Of my life, of my life, of my life, of my life, right decisions amen the decision you make 
determines what becomes of you. The decisions you make determines the things you get. The decisions you make determines the troubles you escape from. One day I was walking on the road in Lagos State. Those of you that know Lagos, Oshodi, Lagos State. And as I was walking and I was going in a hurry, I heard the voice of God say to me, Stop. And as soon as I stopped, the person behind me got angry and kind of double crossed me and stepped in front of me. And right where he stepped, he slipped, flew up this high, landed on the ground, and I made a circle round about and I passed by. I didn't even bother to check what made him to fall. All I know is that the voice of God stopped me. I should have been the one that would stop on that place and I would have landed on the ground but that voice said stop and I stopped and as soon as I stopped that person came and took my place why the voice of wisdom spoke to me I've been on the road driving in a in a bridge before and I was approaching a hold up a checkpoint and I was about to park behind a particular car and the voice of the Lord said to me go to the right and I looked to the right and there was already a car on the right trying to park but suddenly there was enough space the car to the right moved forward and the voice said go to the right and I went to the right immediately I shifted to the right lane a trailer came towards the lane where I just moved from and smashed into the car that was right in front of me that was the voice of wisdom that delivered me from trouble i want you to say oh lord oh lord grant me the voice of wisdom grant me the voice of wisdom to take the right position to take the right decision the right path put your mouth We pray. Amen. The right decision you take by the wisdom of God can determine whether you become prosperous or whether you become poor. Riches and poverty respond to decisions. One right decision to make a right investment can transform your financial life. One wrong decision can make a rich man become poor. By taking one wrong decision in investment. So you are going to be praying for the wisdom to make proper decisions and take proper steps concerning your finances this year and beyond. I want you to say, oh 
Lord my God. Lord my God. Grant me wisdom. Grant me wisdom. To take proper financial decision. To take proper financial decision. To take profitable financial decision. To take profitable financial decision. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. In the mountains of the earth. Amen. we pray. Amen. I pray for you that this year you will take wise financial decisions that will transform your finances forever. Amen. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen. By the wisdom of God, you will buy the right things at the right time. Amen. You will sell the right things at the right time. Amen. You will invest in the right investments at the right time. Amen. And you will make your profits continually in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the wisdom of God, you will take the right decision that will transform your financial life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. One day I was at my mechanic while in Abuja and as he was fixing my car, he said to me, that woman over there has a car at home that she wants to sell. The woman drove in her car to fix also. And he said, that woman has a car at home that she wants to sell. And I said, sorry, I'm not interested. I'm not buying a car. But immediately I had the voice of the Holy Spirit saying, tell him you would like to see the car. And uh, you know how it ensues. You are talking to the voice within and I'm like, but I don't need a car. I don't even have money to buy a car right now. I'm okay with this car. It's working fine. Uh, I don't need a second car. And the voice said, tell him you would like to see the car. So I said, well, I would like to see the car. And so he went over and told the woman. And when I left, he brought the car to my house. And showed me and said, this is the car for sale. And I looked at the car. He told me the price. And because I didn't want him to come back, I slashed down the price so low that I knew he would not come back with the car. And so he went away and I went upstairs thanking God for sending him away. And then after about 20 minutes, he called me again. He said, Pastor, I'm downstairs. I said, oh my God, what do I tell him next? Because I didn't even have the money that I mentioned. And now he has come with the car. And so I went downstairs wondering what to say to him next to drive him away. And when I got downstairs, he said, sir, this is the key. And he gave me the keys of the car, the spare keys of the car, the original papers of the car, and said, the owner of the car says I should give you the car, free of charge. And I'm like, I collected those, those ones first before asking questions. I took the key, I took the documents, and then I began to ask the question, how? How come? And he said, when I went 
to give to uh, tell them the price you mentioned uh, the first time i went it was the wife i met and then i brought the car to you and when i went back to tell the to tell her the price you mentioned the husband had arrived and then the husband said who is asking about the car and he said it's my pastor and he said okay wait for me he went inside brought the document brought the key gave him said go and give your pastor tell him i give him the car for free I never knew him from anywhere. So I said to the mechanic, give me his number. Let him let me call him. The mechanic said, he said to tell you not to bother to call him. I said, I will bother. This one, I will bother. I will call. I must call him. And so I, ca I called him. I said, is it true that you said I should take this car? He said, yes. And I said, I need to come and pray for you. He said, no need, Pastor. I said, there is need. This one, there is need. And so I went to his house. And after I prophesied to him, he said, sir, send account number. Let me load the car with foil again. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The car for me again. Glory be to God. Now, how did I get the car? A decision that was given to me by the Holy Spirit. Listen, God is going to be giving you wise counsel that will bring treasures to you. Can you lift up your hands and let me pray this prayer for you? I pray for you for wise counsel that will bring treasures to you. One time I pray for you for divine directions that will open up Jesus to you. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have your seat one moment. One right decision. One right step from the Lord can turn everything around for you for good. Mm. From today forward, that voice will lead you to take amazing decisions. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Isaiah chapter 11 from verse 1 says, And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Let's look at what spirit is being referred to here. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Verse 3, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither shall he reprove after the hearing of his ears. Now look at verse 2. It says, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The Spirit of what? wisdom and understanding i want you to pray this morning say after this evening say after me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i receive the spirit of wisdom i receive the spirit of wisdom and understanding i receive the spirit of counsel i receive the spirit of counsel and might and might i receive the spirit of knowledge i receive the spirit of knowledge i receive the spirit of the fear of God. I receive the spirit of the fear of God. One more time say I receive the spirit of wisdom. I receive the spirit of wisdom. I receive the spirit of understanding. I receive the spirit of I receive the spirit of counsel. I receive the spirit of counsel. I receive the spirit of might. I receive the spirit of might. I receive the spirit of knowledge. I receive the spirit of knowledge. I receive the spirit of the fear of the Lord. I receive the spirit of the fear of the Lord.
we pray Amen. there is something in verse 3 that I want you to pray the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 3 and he shall make him of quick understanding you are going to pray for quick understanding in all matters of life in your career in your marital life in your finances in the in the ministry in every area of life you are going to be praying for quick understanding Ending. Are you ready to pray that prayer? I want you to say, Oh Lord my God, oh Lord my God, grant me the spirit of quick understanding. Grant me the spirit of quick understanding. <laughs> We pray. We lift up your hands right where you are. I pray for you for quick understanding. In all matters of life, in the name of Jesus, quick understanding in spiritual matters, quick understanding in marital matters, quick understanding in your finances, quick understanding in money management, quick understanding in entrepreneurship, quick understanding in businesses and investments, quick understanding in every matter of life. Amen. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. For the students, I pray for you for quick understanding in your academic work. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 119, verse 99 and 100, I have more understanding than my teachers because I meditate upon your word. I understand more than the ancients because I keep your precepts. I pray for you. You will understand more than your teachers from the before. You will understand more than the ancients from the before. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I saw in the spirit realm right now. The 
Lord Jesus with keys in his hand. Golden keys in the hands of Jesus. And I instantly knew that these are the keys of wisdom. These are the keys of wisdom. Lord Jesus, we receive these keys. We receive these keys of wisdom. We receive these keys. Can you come and receive these keys of wisdom? Jesus name we pray Amen Proverbs chapter 3 verse 19 The Lord by wisdom had founded the earth and by understanding has established the heavens so how did the Lord found the earth by wisdom in essence God established the earth by wisdom God created the earth by wisdom right now you are going to be praying for the wisdom to establish things wisdom to invent things wisdom to create things wisdom to bring things to pass hallelujah I want you to say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, Lord. I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. To establish things. To establish things. I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. To invent things. To invent things. I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. Still, <laughs> name we pray amen look at what the bible says in daniel chapter 12 verse 4 because you need to pick your portion of this one in daniel chapter 12 verse 4 it says but thou o daniel shut up the word and seal the book even to the time of the end many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased that means at the end time at the end times of the world knowledge will multiply knowledge is a key part of wisdom 
And so God has decreed it that when the world is coming to an end, knowledge must increase. You need to get that your own portion of knowledge that is meant for these end times. People are inventing things. People are writing books. People are giving birth to new ideas that, that is making them prosperous. People are bringing forth great things from inside of them. You see some things and you're like, how did this person bring these things forth? Knowledge is increasing. God said it will increase at this time. Have you received your own? I want you to say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. That knowledge will increase. You promise that knowledge will increase. At the end of the world. At the end of the world. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I want my own portion. I want my, my own portion. No, no. And I receive it now. Pull your mouth and say, I receive it. I receive it. something in the bible that will make you pray very well for what i am talking about first kings chapter 4 from verse 29 first kings chapter 4 from verse 29 and god gave solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much and likeness of heart even as the sand that is on the seashore and Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, than it and the Israelites, and Haman, and Chakol, and Dada, the sons of Maho. And his fame was in all nations round about. And he spoke three thousand proverbs. And his songs were a thousand and five hundred. He even branched into the choir ministry because of wisdom. His songs were a thousand and five. He spoke of things from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon. He was not in Lebanon, but he was telling them about the cedar tree in Lebanon because of wisdom. He spoke about the hyssop that spring out of the wall. He spoke also of beasts and of fowl and of creeping things and of fishes. And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Do you want people to come to you? It is wisdom you need. Do you want your fame to spread abroad all over the world? It is wisdom and understanding you need. The Bible says they came to hear the wisdom of Solomon from all the kings of the earth which had heard of his wisdom. Hallelujah. You are going to pray again. But that knowledge that belongs to this end time, 
We are going to pray for that wisdom, that understanding that belongs to this end time. I want you to say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I receive knowledge. I receive wisdom. I receive understanding. I receive understanding. God creates things. God invents things. God establishes things. God brings forth new ideas. We pray. I pray for you that wisdom beyond the wisdom of Solomon be granted to you. Amen. Listen to me from today for what people will begin to call you a wise man. Amen. They will begin to call you a wise woman. Amen. We see it in the things you say, in the actions you take, in the moves you make. Wisdom will be all over you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The next prayer you are going to pray is the wisdom for understanding times and seasons. The Bible says in First Chronicles chapter 12 verse 32, And the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of times, and to know what Israel ought to do, they were heads of them we are 200 and all their brethren were at their commandment hallelujah these men the sons of Issachar they had such wisdom to understand times and seasons and to know what their brethren were to do by time when you understand times and seasons one key thing that happened to you is that you never miss your harvest you know that you know there are seasons for things there is the season for mango there is the season for corn there is the season for everything so the man who understands the seasons can gather things at the right time and keep them and when others are looking for it you will be selling and making profit i want you to say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i receive wisdom i receive wisdom to understand Times and seasons for the third time and think of your mouth and bread on
I pray for you for such wisdom to understand times and seasons so that you will know what to do by time. Yeah. And you will not just know what you are to do by time, you will know what others are to do by time. Amen. People will begin to consult you for what to do, and you will be able to tell them what to do. Because you have understanding of times and seasons in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That your times will not pass you by. Amen. Your seasons will not pass you by. Amen. You will take advantage Amen. of your times and of your seasons, and you will profit from them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. The next prayer we're going to be praying is wisdom for building. Wisdom to build things. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 24 from verse 3, True wisdom and house is builded, and by understanding it is established. Men in the house, you are going to pray for wisdom to build your house and establish your house, your family. Women, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1, every wise woman builds her house, but the foolish one blocks it down with her hands. There is a wisdom to build your house. To raise up godly children. There is a wisdom to take your family to the heights that God wants them to be in the things of God that will impact nations in the years to come. I want you to say in the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. That wisdom to build my house. That wisdom to build my house. I receive it now. I receive it now. Open your mouth and pray. God, 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 Bible says in verse 4 of Proverbs chapter 24 and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious precious and pleasant riches I like that one I like treasures and pleasant riches to be in my house the Bible says wealth and riches Psalm 112 it says wealth and riches shall be in his house 
I want you to pray say in the name of Jesus. In the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I receive the wisdom. I receive the wisdom. The knowledge. The knowledge. And the understanding. And the understanding. That will fill my house. I will fill my, my house. With precious things. With precious things. With pleasant riches. With pleasant riches. With wealth and riches. With wealth and riches. From your mouth and bread. Lord, I receive the wisdom. Lord, I receive the wisdom. We, we pray. Amen. In that vein, we are still going to be praying and we are praying for wisdom, for wealth and riches. This is the last round of prayers we are going to be praying today. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 13, it says, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. And the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise, Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 13. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. And again thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies. And all things that thou canst desire. And not to be compared unto her. Length of days are in her right hand. And in her left hand. Riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness. And all her paths are peace. This is your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Where I want us to focus on is verse 16. Verse 16 says, Length of days is in her right hand. And in her left hand, riches and honor. So every time you see wisdom, length of days in the right hand. Riches and honor in the left hand. And you know the Bible says, Turn not to the left, nor to the right. So you are not to turn to the right hand of wisdom. You are not to turn to the left hand of wisdom. What do you do? You embrace wisdom. And you know when you embrace somebody, what will the person do to you? The person will also embrace you. Come my brother, let me show you an example. Climb up here. Let's say this is wisdom. You understand? Hey, wisdom has length of days on the right hand. Can you see it there? Show them, show them. Length of days on the right hand. And then riches and honor on the left hand. And the Bible says, don't pursue this one. Don't pursue this one. Which one are you going to do? It's very simple. All you need to do is to embrace wisdom. And when you embrace wisdom, what will wisdom do to you? Wisdom will embrace you with length of days and riches. I want you to pray, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am Thank <laughs> you. 
says in the book of James chapter 1 verse 5 if any of you lack wisdom let him ask of God that giveth liberally to all men and upbraideth not and it shall be given to him Lord we have asked you for wisdom and we know you have given it to us we receive this wisdom wholeheartedly in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. From today, henceforth, you will walk in wisdom. Amen. You will live in wisdom. Amen. Your decisions will be wise decisions. Amen. Your actions will be wise actions. Amen. Everything you do will be by the wisdom of God. Amen. Every good thing that comes from wisdom will be seen in your life. Amen. I say everything, every good thing that comes from wisdom, we will see them in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you wave to Jesus and just thank him? Thank him for wisdom. 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 Thou said the law, you have asked, and I have given to you that which you have asked for. And even beyond that which you have asked for today, I have given to you. Amen. For I have caused you this day to have an understanding heart by my wisdom that I have poured upon you. And I will cause you to take decisions that will be to my glory. Decisions that will guide you in the path that I have prepared for you. I will lead you by my wisdom. I will lead you by my spirit. And I will bring you into every place that I have prepared for you. Do not trouble yourself about the things that seem not to be coming to pass. Prepare yourself. For by my wisdom that you have now received, you will possess everything that I have promised you. And you will come into every place that I have prepared for you. And you will possess everything that I have destined for you. As me, Jolignica, Vandrebo, Sintaya, 
while men are falling by the wayside by the wrong decisions that they have made you will be mounting up with wings like the eagle while people are troubled and worried and tearing down their own houses and pulling down things that belong to them by the wisdom that I have given to you, you will build, you will plant, you will establish, and you will begin new things in the earth. Je pouvera candibush, malikratune mekire brandu. And men will wonder at you, for they will say, this is not the same man that we knew before. And they will say, this is not the same woman that, that we knew before. And they shall look at you and see the proof of the workings of my wisdom in your life. Huh? For in everything that you do, my wisdom will be seen. Amen. Oh Lord, we say thank you. Oh Lord, we say thank you. Lift up your voices and bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, my Father, for wisdom. Thank you, my Father, for wisdom. Go ahead and give him the praise. If you have been blessed by this ministration, follow Apostle John Udo on Facebook at Apostle John Udo. To follow on YouTube, type John Udo Ministries. If you need prayer, counseling, deliverance, or follow-up, call plus 234. 806-036-1421-234-806-036-1421 And remember, all things are possible.